Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. We all know of the industrial scale secrecy and cover up, especially of WhatsApp messages over the COVID pandemic and how they were routinely deleted, knowing full well that they were going to be needed for evidence, but that evidence had to be destroyed because people didn't want to go to prison. Now, there have been a couple of cases who people didn't get the memo and whose WhatsApps weren't deleted. One of whom, of course, was Kate Forbes, one of the uh, the things for which she should be praised. Uh, not many, but that one we will give her. But it appears that she's not the only one who didn't get the memo because now uh, Marie Todd has also admitted that her messages were not deleted. This came as a result of a freedom of information request. But even then, the shadiness and sleekness meant it was nearly six months between the initial request for it and the final judgment that said that Marie Todd had to publish them, had to hand them over. And so they have been published, albeit massively redacted. The fact is that this now exists. People know, even in the redacted form, they know that these exist. And so therefore, the unredacted and total messages must be presented to and form part of the COVID inquiry. Will they? Or will the SNP continue to fight to keep them secret? Because they don't want anyone in particular to be going to jail. It still stinks, but more and more messages are slowly being uncovered despite months upon months of trying to hide it, of trying to deny it, and then eventually, when forced to reveal, making sure it's redacted to hell, pages upon pages of completely blacked out messaging. Because the last thing they want is for people to know the truth. Thanks very much for listening. Take care. Goodbye.